Muy buenas, seguimos con Lake Y bueno, ya estamos llegando al final del trayecto Hoy teníamos pendiente una cita con Robert Y a su vez, pues bueno, vamos a hacer Las entregas diarias, por cierto, ha vuelto Jack y, Pero Jack no es como el señor Mostachín, el señor Mostachín estaba Ahí sentado, el señor Jack no está ¿Saldrá a repartir? No lo sé, nunca Se sabrá, el caso es que vamos a empezar A hacer la entrega, ya sabéis que tenemos Una oferta de Steve y a partir De ahí ya veremos qué ocurre Espera, paquete rápido, paquete rápido, va Lo tenemos Habrá revelado ya las fotos, recordad que teníamos que hacer 12 fotos De paisajes bonitos Y le hicimos un, fotos un poquito troll Claro, si sí, sí, vengo porque ha pedido un paquete Y no traigo el paquete, mal voy, ¿verdad? Las cosas pasan, las cosas pasan A ver, Main Street eh, me lo pide Bien, ¿es ese? Pues no lo sé Pero... Tiene pinta Si me dejan entrar es este Hemos atirado Hola, señora Más borde que yo No 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 Ok Adiós Ya está Sin más ¿Quieres hacer más fotos? No Pues venga, sigue con lo tuyo Ok, seguimos con lo nuestro tenemos cartita para la granja de los Reynolds Bueno, 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 bueno ¿Qué intentará colarnos hoy? ¿Intentará que hagamos algo? ¿O simplemente dejaremos una carta sin más? Descubrámoslo A ver, cowboy Okay, fellow Providence Oakians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks, just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. Bueno, pues aquí tenemos al tío de la radio. Granjero DJ Hack. Bueno, Jack, he dicho yo Hack. ¿Con otro fantasma? No. Ya lo creo. Sin problemas. Déjase la abierta, déjase la abierta. Vaya. Bueno, pues ya está. Granjero Jack DJ listo para sentencia. Seguimos. Bueno, llegamos al colega que no despega la cabeza del PC. Venga, de gratis. Vamos a aguantar otra bordería del colega este. Por no llamarle otra cosa. Venga, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Como no te atiende en condiciones, tírale el este al suelo. No, no le hables, déjalo No te he dicho nada Así estamos todos ¡Qué paciencia hay que tener! De quitarle, de sentúfaselo. Take it easy. It's just a game. Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Sé lo que se siente. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Vale. Okay. Vámonos de aquí. Habla con... No, 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 no. No hables con él. Vámonos. Vámonos, que llueve. El colega, hasta que no se pase el juego, dice que no va a parar. Y no se lo va. ¿Está buscando metales? ¿Un detector de metales? ¿O es cosa mía? Hi there. 
Hola No me esperaba un detector de metales aquí Ah, ¿no? Pues lo parece Oh, claro, eres un detectorista ¿Has encontrado algo interesante? Ajá. Ajá. Sí. Eso no es lo que buscas, ¿no? Claro, si no sabes qué buscar, no te decepcionas cuando no lo encuentras, claro, claro, claro. Pero supongo que no te importaría sentar un tesoro, ¿no? Sí. Con las monedas suficientes puedes conseguir una fortuna, ¿eh? ¿CMD? ¿En el club de detectores de metales? A metal detectorist club. Nice. A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons. 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 Ah. I think I'd wait for the one on. Vamos a esperar a la sala de la pepita de oro. I don't blame you. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. Bueno, es que tenía que hablar con él De hecho, hemos desbloqueado un logro El detector de metales Claro, de repente le he visto ahí buscando Y ha sido como, ¿what? Venga, seguimos Bueno, pues última carta entregada A lo largo del día de hoy En el cual pues hemos hecho un trabajo de Nada, lo único así yo creo que más recurrente Ha sido lo de la radio y el detector de metales Y a partir de aquí, bueno Pues miraremos a ver qué ocurre Al final del día, que tenemos una cita con Robert Joder, mira que está cayendo el niño. Ojo. Y que lo digas. <risa> ¿Cuánto habría ganado? It's been a nice payday, huh? We're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Vamos a decirle que no nos interesan las apuestas porque basta con que le digamos que sí para que falle y nos echa la culpa. Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. No problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. What? Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. Eh, mi último día. ¿Cómo que no? Eh... A ver. Vale, se viene. Vamos a ver. Se viene la cosa. Eh... La pregunta del millón. ¿Lo han encontrado un sustituto? Eso era evidente. Y el puesto dice que va a ser nuestro si lo queremos. Aquí tenemos el sí, aquí tenemos el no. ¿Y el en serio qué es? Vale, vale, se lo decimos el lunes. No, no hemos aclarado ni sí ni no, ni para ti ni para mí. Bien, bien. Sábado noche. Suena el teléfono. Suena por segunda vez y descolgamos. Hello. Hi Meredith, it's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? 
Oh, hi, Dad. Well... No te lo tomes a lo personal, pero... Eh, qué bien que se acabe. Ha ido bien. Un cambio de aires. Un cambio de aires. Mi patín para mí. Pero no es algo para dedicarle el resto de tu vida, ¿eh? En realidad creo que no han encontrado quien me sustituya. Me temo que sería mucha monotomía para mí. Eh, no estoy segura No sé si quiero quedarme, mamá Y dale con lo mismo Que no es eso Vale, Estaré bien, que no te quite el sueño. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye. Ok, ok, ok. Hora de decidir. Hora de tomar una decisión. Pero antes, la cena con Robert. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. En Astoria hay restaurantes buenos. <risa> bueno, es un tío que se dedica a cortar árboles. Mucha. No te preocupes, Robert. No te preocupes, Robert. Me lo amo aquí. Gracias, Meredith. Eres una persona tan amable. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Para mí una ensalada, por favor. Hoy me tienta mucho el chuletón. Mm, tortita, necesito una buena tortita. ¡Dame un chuletón, hago! Es difícil de pasar un juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a. Una copa de vino, una cerveza, un agua, un refresco. Con un chuletón. Eh, yo sí más de agua o refresco, pero. Eh, échate una cervecilla, venga. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. ¿Ves? Hemos pedido lo mismo. Ashley, get the steaks out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Sí, me ha dicho unas 80 veces. Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack, what's he gonna do? ¿Qué va a hacer ya? Dar la previsión del tiempo para la semana que viene. Announce the weather for next week. Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Es un ba Jack es bailarín, bailarín de claqueta, dicho. Sí, claro, y tú eres mana, y tú eres su manager. You're right. And you're his stage manager. <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to pickle him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. <laughs> oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. 
Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Adelante, Robert. Vete a echarle un vistazo a los cables. Mm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking o sea que nos hemos comido el pastel de ananos por fin. Eh, depende de quién esté en la ronda. Tengo ganas de volver a la gran ciudad. Tengo ganas de volver a la gran ciudad. Es que el pueblecillo está bien, pero. Eh. Eh. Sí, seguramente. Venga, echaremos de menos. Depende de quién esté en la ronda. <risa> Así que no lo haré. Pero Matt Kernin es difícil de tragar. Matt Kernin es el del hotel, ¿no? A este le damos caña. Ese intento de ser humano. <risa> ¿Siempre has vivido en un pueblo? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. Me imagino. But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Puede que no. Bueno, si no quieres, eh, no me molestará solo. Eh. Aguanto aquí, Carlos. Sí. Sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Got to set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Marie. No problem. Claro. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling? Gracias, Robert. Ah, ha dicho que me invitaba. You helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Marie gets her broom out. Okay. Un lobo que está cayendo. ¿Qué dice Robert? Que con esta lluvia no te oigo. Oh, no fue nada. Menos mal que se resolvió justo a tiempo. Lo mismo a largo. Menos mal que se resolvió justo a tiempo. Pero no te vas a ir sin un abrazo. <risa> Buena suerte y llamanos si necesitas ayuda. Si quiere un abrazo, que se lo ocurra. Y ahí se quedó la cosa. Bajo la lluvia. Domingo 14 de septiembre, por la mañana. Uh, estamos con lo de Adit. Estamos con nuestro diario. Bien, bien, bien. Ajá. Pero estos tienen su peculiaridad. Ok. Ok, ok. Mi trabajo termina mañana como repartidora. Cambiar de aire siempre viene bien. Supongo que también tiene que ver con la noche de micro abierto de hoy. Ok, most dinner. Uh -huh. <risa> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The Vamos a ir con el manolo. A guy walks into a bar and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender. What's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, Ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So. A woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, a ver. she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. 
So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! <laughs> well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. Okay. You short, like Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Pero si lo llevas igual. Siendo totalmente sincera, no parece que haya cambiado mucho. Be completely honest. It doesn't look all that different. <laughs> to be honest, it feels like a waste anyway. So I can only stay for a few moments. En serio, ¿y eso? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, qué buenas noticias. Uf, qué presión. Eso ha superado el recibir un oso de peluche por correo. Uf, qué presión. It's quite the imposition. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Bólame, señorita. Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in a neck brace. Real funny, huh? Con collarín. Debo admitir que tiene su gracia. I must admit it. It's at least a little funny. What happened? I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. Y cómo me alegro. In anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. No, ya lo parecías antes, pero vamos así. Seguro que te pasarás el juego algún día, tú puedes. Oh, pobrecito, espero que te mejores pronto. Eh, no quiero decirle ninguna de las dos, quiero ser borde total, en plan de te, te lo mereces. Asqueroso. No puedo decirle eso. Bueno, entonces le voy a dar unas falsas esperanzas que no va a conseguir nunca y se va a volver a romper el cuello. Eso es, eso es. Tú dale vueltas, tú dale vueltas. None other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl, and I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands. Suerte a todos. Va a cantar Kai. Okay. Vale, aquí va. Espero que hayas mejorado. Se viene. La voz es bonita. Bien, bien. Vale, vale, ni tan malo, de la cinta era mucho peor. Eh, me, 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 me. Venga, así me gusta, cortita, concisa y al pie. Venga. ¡Grande! ¡Vamos ahí! This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Sí, es increíble. Yeah, she's awesome. Es mi amiga. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. No es divertido salir de vez en cuando. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Uh-huh. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Dios sincero. Bert, thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, 
You all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. Le va a traspasar el negocio. Stan left us, and I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Case place, Mo Case. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause, and have some drinks with us. Okay, okay, okay. Ha sido increíble la cantina de Kai, eh? No la buena. Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> But it feels good, you know? How did it feel? Venga, ¿qué has sentido allá arriba? Cuéntanos tu experiencia. It was so great to be performing again. It felt Amazing! I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. Hombre, ahora es tuyo, o sea que. Ah, ha sido increíble. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know, like shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well, wait. I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. I promise we'll keep in touch, whatever the outcome, yeah? Por supuesto. Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Nos estamos despidiendo de todos, ¿eh? Hasta del tío del hotel con sus quince de cuello. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his head. Back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. Okay. Y ahora nos pedimos de moz. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So you had fun? Me ha encantado. Jack fue genial, fue genial. Kai lo ha hecho de maravilla. It was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. Es por la noticia acerca de. Vale. Creo que me aspira a dormir. Still thinking about your news about handing over the diner, Kay's place, huh? Qué bombazo. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Um. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out, and maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods, rent them out. Never too old to find something Puedes trabajar de repartidora. Me parece una idea genial. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter. Pues han acabado bien, la verdad. Hemos vuelto a conectar. Estoy muy contenta. Creo que somos dos personas distintas ahora. Hemos vuelto a conectar, hombre. Si le cuidé a los hijos el otro día, tú. Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what yeah. you're gonna do yet? Stick around, 
Move back. Sinceramente, no, ni idea. Honestly, no. Vamos a no mantener el, el listo hasta el final. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. Nah, simplemente me gustaría que todo fuera más simple. No, I just wish things were a bit more clear. You know what I found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. Eso es un poco directo, eso no me parece muy lógico. Entonces, ¿cómo? Also, I swear, people these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. Has tomado mucho vino, Bo. A bit too much vino, Mo. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step. And see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after, and whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy, and there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? Me, me. Thanks, ya que ya Makes se me está acumulando esto mucho. Right. Te estás poniendo demasiado profunda, Maure. Just take that first step, you hear? Vale, vale, vale. Maureen? Gracias por todo. Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Mira, take estaba care, Jack Maureen. mirando desde el fondo. Bueno, venga, va. Lunes 15 de septiembre, por la mañana. Postal Service Providence OAX. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday and I let it ride and then they lost. The playing ah, tú vas a acabar muy mal, eh? I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. Eres un ludópata sin remedio. Uh... You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Más claro no puedo ser. I guess you're right. And I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Pero no lo voy a rechazar. Me voy del pueblo y sí quiero llevarlo un poco más. Decisiones, decisiones. ¿Qué hacemos, gente? Yo lo tengo claro. A ganar pasta. Porque para volver al pueblo tenemos tiempo Si es que hay tiempo Pero me voy a ganar ese 20% durante 5 años Que luego puede que sea más Y si no me vuelvo Y no pasa nada Porque mis padres se van a comprar una casa por ahí Y la casa de aquí va a estar libre Lo voy a rechazar, me voy del pueblo Por cierto, has vuelto a perder la casa apostado Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. Solo hablamos de algo que no sea baseball. Me encantaría ver el lago por última vez. Venga, una despedidita después del lago. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. Let's go, nos vamos. So, here we are again, heading the other way. Aren't you going to miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, wait, no, two million bucks should be enough. Do you think money can buy happiness? <laughs> That's a good question. Give me a big pile of cash right now, and I'll feel real happy. And I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll probably start to wear off, and I'll be back to complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you lunatic! What? Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. Sir Robert. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling over. Bueno, 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 que viene Roberto loco tú. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran, but uh what's all this about? Yo lo picarme en carretera. Frank, I need to talk to Meredith. 
Oh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. Sí, this Robert. is gonna sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. A ver, ¿qué tipo de cosas? Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, or woman, I like you. A lot. And I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. ¿Ha abierto el maletero? No puedo abandonar mi carrera profesional por un atractivo leñador. ¿Y pretendes que me meta en tu coche ahora? So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Uh, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. ¿Por qué no te metes tú en mi coche? Vente tú, eh, claro, vente tú. O sea, no yo, vente tú. Venga, te quieres venir, vamos a probar. Vente. Why don't you get in my car? Vente a la ciudad. PO. Claro. I'm afraid I wouldn't survive a week in a big city. Mm. Claro, o sea, no te vas tú, pero no, claro. So you wouldn't leave PO from me, but expect me to stay for you? Do you want me to beg? Lo siento, Robert. Sorry, Robert, but no. And I need to get going now. Okay, Meredith. Take care. Call me. Have a safe trip. Thanks, Robert. Okay, Meredith, let's get you to the airport. I've got a double shift today and the mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, lo siento, Robert, pero claro, a ver, es que. No, oh, quédate, quédate. <sighs> Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own KM. Y así acaba Lake. Hemos decidido finalmente irnos. Estaba bien lo de Robert, pudo ser lo de Angie, pero un 20% de una empresa que va a ganar millones, 5 años, hay que probar chicos, hay que probar, que vemos que no, para volver siempre tiempo, y creo que Robert seguirá talando árboles, así que con esto hemos acabado esta fabulosa historia, nos vemos, lo dejamos y nos encontraremos con más juegos, adiós, chao chao. So many.